With the exterior of the home nearly complete, the focus now turns to the interior. Zach is building a custom timber home and he was able to choose the look he wanted for both the exterior and interior finishes. On the interior, he will have drywall with an old world stucco texture. To balance out all of the drywall, the home will feature wooden timber frame accents as well as wood floors and ceilings. The work inside is underway as the subcontractors are roughing in the HVAC and plumbing. Next, they begin hanging drywall. been a lot of progress out of the house. We have insulation in all the ceilings and the walls and as you can see the drywall is all up. The ceiling is insulated to an R62. There's an R19 bat in there and then below that is an R38 bat. Now what you currently don't see is there will be a half inch oil faced foam board that goes over the top of that and that'll all be taped off. Golden Eagle offers both structural insulated panels known as SIP panels or a super insulated parallel cord truss roof system. Zach chose the super insulated system with an R62 insulation factor. We're almost done with all the insulation in the ceiling here. What you see up here is actually a two by six furred out. That's what we'll attach the trusses to. So we've actually got a four by four blocking between the engineered roof trusses. So really all we have left to do is just finish off that foil face down there and then uh, add the ceiling finish and the timber trusses. We'll have a complete ceiling before you know it. Behind the drywall, they seal every nook and cranny with one inch closed cell foam with an R value of seven. This keeps the wind and bugs out. In addition, blown in fiberglass with R23 is added. I really like the way these timber rafters look on this ceiling up here. It has really come together even better than I ever imagined. And it looks really good with all the natural light flowing from the wall here. When I think of a comfortable home, I often think of a quiet home. So if someone is getting ready in the morning, they're taking a shower and listening to music, I want to be prepared for that. And that's why we have actually noise barrier insulation in all the bathroom walls, as well as all the bedroom walls. I think it'll help create a more comfortable, quieter home. If you remember during the design process, I had imagined up this whole kid's loft area. It's really cool to see it come together. There'll be a railing going this whole way, so that'll protect anyone from falling down. And then there'll be an access ladder for someone to get up that way. I think one of the most fun parts is the door that connects the two lofts from one side to the other. The master bedroom also features a loft with a rafter style ceiling. Something I considered when designing this home is I wanna efficiently use all the square footage that I can. Now, I don't need a walk-in closet with 20 foot ceilings. So what I decided to do is I capped off that walk-in closet down there and now we have a reading loft up here. I think it's really great. I have now doubled the practicality of that square footage. The next day, the crew begins installing the fireplace. A key element to any home like this is having a wood burning fireplace. So what we're working on today is installing this 45 inch wood burning unit. It gets up to 95,000 BTUs. That is great for a big area like this. We have a large open concept with a, the kitchen, the dining room, as well as the great room here. So this will certainly heat that whole area. It'll look really great. We're gonna have also a face plate over the top of this, and then the rest of the hearth will be finished off with cultured stone. After the drywall has been taped, mudded, and sanded, the custom drywall finishing begins. Curtis is putting on a heavy skip trowel right now. This is a look that I always wanted when it came to the drywall. I think it pairs really well with the timbers. I like the, the old world style of it. So each wall is unique. We're not just spraying this on. I think that that customization is really gonna shine through when the home is finished. So I think we're off to a really good start. 
Today we're installing all the ceiling finish. This is a one by eight, it is rustic. And what makes it so rustic is the random nail marks in here, as well as you can see where, where it was hit by the planer. And then just take a look at this knot structure, very unique. You'll be seeing this on all the ceiling finishes. I think that'll balance really well with all the drywall that goes throughout the home. Golden Eagle offers unlimited choices for the ceiling finish, including popular options like shiplap, circle sawn, reclaimed, and barn wood. Zach chose carved nickel spaced one by eight. With the ceiling complete, the masons install a scratch coat on the fireplace chase. Next, they individually apply each stone. Meanwhile, the crew is about to install the first of three hand-hewn timber trusses. Golden Eagle offers both structural and non-structural timber frame homes. Zach chose non-structural with timber frame components as it would look the same and save money. With this option, Zach has the flexibility to add timber frame components like trusses wherever he chooses. There's definitely a wow factor when you walk in. That truss looks absolutely incredible. The stone on that chase over there, it really catches your attention. I think it ties everything together. Those are larger stones. When you've got bigger beams like this, I think it, it all really fits together very well. So first impression, it's even better than I ever could have imagined. One of the decisions was to choose between real stone or a veneer stone. And what I ultimately decided to do was to save myself some money and go with the veneer product. This is cast from real stone, and it's only a quarter of the weight. That probably saves me around 20 grand on the whole project. And considering that it looks like the real thing, I think it was a really good decision. Zach chose to install a perimeter of heavy timber accents used along the ceiling and doors. Next, they install eight foot tall interior doors. The doors are trimmed in with matching hand hewn timber. The reading loft in the master bedroom is really coming together. The rafters look awesome, tying into this ridge beam up here. The one thing that is left is an industrial looking railing that's gonna go along this loft edge. That'll be the same railing that we'll have in the other two bedrooms. With the house nearing completion, join us on the next episode as the crew adds finishing details to the kitchen, bathrooms, floors, and more.